Okay, guys, we're going to kick off Project Redheaded Stepchild. This is the TPI project. These are Dart 165s, and they definitely look different than any Dart 165s I've seen before. I don't remember them having a four valve, four angle valve job before. Okay. Definitely has a nice exhaust. Usually Dart Radius is their exhaust, but they have a nice three-angle valve job. Yeah, they left that big notch in the throat that needs to be taken care of, but I was surprised at the flow numbers. They were better than I expected, and then uh, the problem was my, my bench leakage was definitely higher than unusual. I uh, got something going on. It may just be the head gasket I was using is toast. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably reflow this this exact uh, port here and exhaust and uh, see how far off it was. But in any case, I wanted to do a preliminary on this. I'm going to say we're going to take uh, about 5 CFM off of the numbers you guys are going to see. But the air speeds will be right. Let's take a look. Sorry, guys. There we go. Overall, completely stock. I love these heads. I think they're great heads. Uh, I did, uh, I think I did three or four videos on this when I first started my channel. Uh, Dart 165s that I picked up locally. And they flowed a lot, too. They were like 240, 241. But I thought they were modified somehow. The valve job was a little weird. The valve job was, instead of having four nice cuts like that, it literally had the valve seat. I think it had one cut, and then it had like a 90-degree plunge. It was really weird. I couldn't, I didn't understand what they were doing. These are 194, 15s. This is an old Chevy throttle body injection valve. It's an old rusty throttle body injection 1.5. Put them on them completely stocked with leakage. Let's take a look at how they did. Okay. Pretty damn good. Way better than I was expecting, actually. But like I said, I think... I think the other ones I did came out around the same thing, but I know this leakage was a little high. I would take five off, five CFM off every number at least. In any case, way better starting point than I thought we were going to have. Okay, we got a good 300 number, we got good low lift numbers, and we top out at 240. Not bad. Okay, how about the exhaust? Well, the exhaust is more like what the... Uh, the Dart website says. They say 210 on the intake, 135 on the exhaust. Okay, you take six off of here, 140. I can believe that because it looks like they've changed a few things on this head. I think I'm going to CC this uh, completely stock too. I'm willing to bet this is over 170 cc head. Even though it says it's a 165, I don't believe that. I think that's bigger than that. Now, my set that I have done... Those were finished up at 183 and flowed 275. We didn't discuss the uh, the dicum and the bolt. Overall, not bad. Yeah, it goes across the plug. We got some on the chamber there. We got some all the way on the exhaust side. Really, really not bad for completely stock. Okay, it looks like... You can see what, what it's doing. It, it hit that side and then splattered over to the other side. We can work on that. That'll get better as we do it. Now we're going to try to see what we can get out of these 194s. I'm willing to bet these just with a bowl blend pick up quite nicely. So uh, if I get some time, I will open the other head. I will do a bowl blend on one of those. And uh, I'll reflow this one again, and can, we can compare them. Why is it called Project Redheaded Stepchild? This TPI is kind of like a redheaded stepchild, right? Nobody loves it. I love it. I think it's a great system. Take a look at our air speeds. 
pretty darn high. We did these at 500. I don't know how big a cam he's going to wind up using, but I figure at least a 500. Hell, do more than that in the pickup truck. Little, a little slow on top. Now, unfortunately, the pinch on these, they kept the same. You know, they're, they're very thin on the pinch. So you're not going to be able to gain that much unless you go up, down, and towards the center, more, more or less. Maybe I can take 50, 60 thousandths out of that pushrod side. I'll have to look at it. Top of the bowl is nice and even. All right, 193 and 197. The short side radius is screaming fast. Almost 400. Doesn't matter. It's a, it's a street design. It's good. In fact, it's quite good. Uh, I would love to compare these to a set of uh, stock Chevy Vortex. I'm pretty sure these beat them. Let's take a look at our exhaust. Top of the exhaust port really working well. Middle is working good. Bottom is dead. Completely dead. Let's take a look at... Uh, those ports from a different angle. Okay, these have very deep bowls and very high short side radius, which is one of the reasons I like them so much. Yeah, you can see the sharp fourth angle cut that goes down into the bowl. Believe it or not, that really doesn't hurt air airflow as much as you would think it does. But these will pick up. And you know what? Those bosses are definitely smaller than the last time I worked on a set of these. They've improved the boss size. They're definitely smaller. There's no question in my mind. Let's put some light on this one. Okay, same thing with the exhaust. Very deep bowl, high short side radius. Yeah, you can see the bottom cuts. If I can get it focused in. But it will not take much to uh, clean that up and get nice, nice numbers out of that. Okay, this is definitely different than the last time I've seen these heads. That short side radius is the same short side radius. It's really tall. I think it's 1.1 inches. But take a look at that bottom cut, and there's hardly a ridge here. There's almost nothing. It's quite done quite well. Done quite well. Let's measure the height of that short side. Intake short side, 1.1 inches. So they didn't change that. A little bit different view of this exhaust port. This will this will clean up so nicely. I think you'll be surprised what kind of flows we can get out of this with a 1.5 exhaust. They're going to crank. Okay, the exhaust port is not a massive, giant exhaust port like Dart likes to use. They kept it smaller. It's only 1.3 inches tall. It's really a great exhaust port. Now, I think the headers he has are only one inch and five eighths, so it doesn't pay for me to make these any bigger. I got to keep them tiny and get the most out of them that I can for their size, which won't be a problem. Notice how straight that, that short side is. Love it. All right, from this angle, that bung looks huge, but it didn't look bad when I looked looked at it from uh, the valve side. In any case, I'm really looking forward to this project. Like I said, I'll reflow these. We'll get a better baseline and I'll bowl blend and intake and exhaust. And uh, we're going to get it done from that point on. He also sent me uh, some intake manifold parts and stuff. We're going to, uh, I didn't even get to open them up yet. I just took one head out and started on it. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.